What's going on, Capital Extra? You know who's in the building right now. Myself, Robert Bruce, homegrown show, Saturdays, 4 till 7 p.m. And you know I'm always bringing someone into the building. Today with me, I've got this guy, Hardy. Hardy yeah. Capital, what's happening? This guy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm The good, main man. man at the moment. He's got a big tune ringing off right now. I've tried, man. I'm trying. <laughs> thank you, thank you. How are you? How's today going? Um... You know, I told you about that incident earlier. Yeah. But <laughs> Do you want to tell I'm us all? Oh, uh, no, no, no. Do you know what? I don't want to inspire that sort of energy to come to me. I just want people to approach me and be nice to me. All right, then, cool. <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny story, though. So you're from quite far away, innit? Oh, don't say yeah. it like that. Don't say it like that. I'm just asking, I'm asking. <laughs> what, Craydon? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? So where are you from? Where am I from? East, East London. Where in East London? Dagenham. Ah. Yeah, I don't want to hear it, man. <laughs> okay, then. Cool, cool, cool. But honestly, talk to me. What are they feeding you over there? Because you've got how many artists are coming out of Croydon? A2, Crept and Conan, Storms, yeah. Nadia. Like, what is going on? Um, you know what it is? I think like you could say it's happening with Hackney right now as well. Um, it's just that once one per- one person does it, everyone else is inspired to do it. And because you're actually familiar with that person or you know of that person, you think, you realise that you have the capacity to do it yourself because it humanises it. Rather than when I, before, when I used to see like Skepta and everyone doing it, they were never like real people to me. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? I, ne- I wasn't ever familiar with them in real life. So I never got the drive quite like when I saw Crepton and Colin and... and Storms and all that do it. Yeah, so take me back. When did you first start doing music? Was it because of those influences or did you always have music in your veins? Um, How did it happen? I started when I was young. Like I got YouTube videos of when I was 13, 14. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we won't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I was re inspired or like I told myself I'll do it properly from around 18 when I started university. Okay, cool. How old are you now? 21. 21. Oh, so not too long ago. Yeah, not too, not that long ago. Yeah, but the music's been consistent. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Outside of ends, who are your influences? Um, In terms of just life or music? Just music. music. In fact, let's do life. Uh, uh, <laughs> so Jay-Z is like my favourite character yeah. in everything. Jay-Z and Will Smith. But um, in terms of music, um, I like Drake, um... Who do, who else do I like? I like Western right now. Western, I've been rocking my world. <laughs> um, um, even even Asen, like, do you get what I mean? People yeah. around me, um, just everything. I, I listen to a lot, like, even Ed Sheeran and that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And you mentioned, like, Asen, you've got a lot of collabs with a few other UK artists. Is yeah. that all organic or are you, like, reaching out to people? How's it coming your way? Um, with me and Asen, it was pretty organic. Um, I was a fan of his stuff and I I reached out. I thought, why isn't this bigger? So I was just like, cool. Me and him started talking and then like we didn't say straight away, let's do a collab. We were thinking, how would we do a collab? Like, what would a Hardy and an Asen song sound like? Because there's no point of doing it for the sake of doing it. So um, eventually it just, I found something and I was like, yeah, this is, this is perfect for you. Yeah, no, it makes sense. Yeah. So I like to I like to try and keep every collab as organic as possible. I want to actually be cool with that person rather than just doing it to cross off someone popular. Yeah, yeah, no, I hear what you mean. Talk, well, Aeson was in a few weeks ago, right? Yeah. And he gave us his version of Unsigned and how it came together. Yeah. Give me your side of the story. Ah, uh, cool. <laughs> Aeson's, a, <laughs> Aeson's a character, yeah, so I had to be smart about it, innit? Yeah. So I was just like, I had this beat and I knew you would like it, but I didn't want to say, yo, this is a song for you. I wanted it to feel like it was his idea, innit? All right, yeah. Because <laughs> he's stubborn, innit? Yeah. So I was just like, I was on the phone to him. I was just like, yeah, I got I got a couple beats here still. I was playing one, played two, and then I played the one I wanted him mm. on. And then he was just like, yo, 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 yo be quiet. <laughs> like, I want to hear it. And I was just like, 
oh, I'm not sure, you know, I kind of want yeah. this beat. And he was just like, oh, what, can you send it to me? Yeah. Not knowing I was like, his email was ready. And then I was just like, ah, oh, nah, nah, nah. Pew, sent it to his <laughs> inbox. And then he sent me back the hook. And I was just like, yeah, cool. But I didn't let him know that I'd done it like that. That you pre-potted it and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't let him know that I'd done it like that until it was out. I was just like, yeah, man, twanged it. You knew from the beginning. <laughs> you jumped. Is it true that when you was recording, an ice cream van actually came outside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was... <laughs> <laughs> so I was freestyling the second verse, innit? Because at first, I'd only done that first verse with mm. like um, the gigs reference and that. And I was just like... I said everything I want to say. Like yeah. I, I got nothing <laughs> else I want to say on this song. <laughs> And then, like, I was freestyling, and I was just like, uh, "Echo the ice cream man," and he was like, "Yeah, that's that's it." I was just like, "I'm not sure yeah. about this one, Ace, you know. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not too sure about it." And he was like, "Trust me, trust me." Mm-hmm. I was just like, "Cool." And then I, I showed everyone. I showed everyone when I got back, and they're like, "Yeah, no, nah, this is it." I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> "Now you said you started music just as you was going uni, right?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously, anyway. How did you balance it? Uh, um, in the first year, I won't lie, it wasn't that hard. Like it was a lot of just up and down because I went to uni in London. All right. Because I decided I need to be in London mm-hmm. if I'm gonna do this. Um, so I was just going back and forth, studio shoot, um, studio shoot, video. Yeah, just trying to. Um, it kind of gave me a discipline, if anything. I think it was only really hard in final year when like I had my dissertation. Okay. Yeah. Tell the truth here. Yeah. Tell the truth. I want you to be hundred percent honest. You was the man at uni, in it. I would have hated no. to go uni with you. You must have been the man at uni. I no 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 <laughs> <laughs> no 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 no. I was kind of um. I can't say head down. I went head down. Yeah. But I was just me. In it. I was just a. I was just a. Um. I would go out and I would drink a bit. You know, yeah. turn up, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I wasn't. I weren't the main guy. Okay, but all right. I'll say our batch was, isn't it? My batch, yeah, you, yeah. We were the characters. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine you and your crew just really <laughs> being the people around campus and whatnot. How did you break it to your family and your parents that you know what? I'm at uni. What did you study? Accounting. Accounting. I'm yeah. at uni doing accounting, but I'm actually looking to be a rapper. How do you have that conversation? I didn't explain it. No way. No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. Do you know what? Yeah, I just waited until checks. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Right, until right. until right. I got paid, it's, it's not their business. All right, all yeah. right. Cool. So you're just doing it on the side, like they weren't aware this is what you're trying to do? Nope. That is so, so mad. Yeah, no, nah, it's got to be like that. <laughs> it's got to be like that. I can imagine still. Yeah. <laughs> and you got a first in your dissertation. Like, yeah. You must have had a, a big brain on you to be doing music first in the dissertation. Uh, you know, it's not for yeah. me. To, it's, <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right academically. All right, then. Cool. So you're still building your buzz at this point. Music's going well. Mm. Talk to me about you and Drake, because Drake commented on your Instagram or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, remember, it was a Henry thing, innit? it? So the Henry thing caused that where... The Henry thing was basically the presenter Henry from Represent Radio. She must have brought me onto a show to do some lyrics for lyrics. Yeah. And I remember telling um, my friends, yo, I don't want to do that. Like, <laughs> I don't want to do that, innit? Like, I don't really want to um, cuss her and her cuss me. And then she she must have done it anyway. She must have said, no, nah, no, nah, let's just do it. So I was just like, she she said something about your lips being dry. I was like... <laughs> And then I just freestyled it. Literally, I freestyled it off the top. I was like, yo, if you're getting on to me, yeah. I'm getting on to you. Innit? <laughs> and then basically, when we done that, we were like, yeah, this footage is hilarious. We got, when when this comes out, I'm putting it up, innit? Yeah. So I literally just must have put it on my Twitter, put it on my Instagram. And then the next morning, I must have seen Champagne Pappy Mad. Um, saying cooked. And obviously, I was just thought, I, I was just like, this this? Yeah, 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 yeah. For, thinking I was going to see some underscore, but it was actually him. And then literally, I knew it was him as soon because my phone just went off. As soon yeah. as he commented, drrr, my phone was just <laughs> mad. Pew, pew, pew for the whole day. <laughs> crazy, literally. That is crazy. And do you think that gave you some more exposure, or do you reckon everyone that saw that was onto you already? 
Um, I think it helped. Yeah, no, it definitely helped because you know the things when things are funny. That's yeah. It's more engaging anyway. Do you, know, you know what I mean? Because not everyone knows me. Even now, not everyone's yeah. gonna know me. So it definitely helped. Talking about that. All right, outside of music, yeah. who is Hardy? Uh, me, I'm a boring guy, man. Oh, don't uh, lie. I'm, a, I'm a boring. I, I'm so boring. I'm boring now. Literally, yeah. I'm I'm doing this whole finding myself thing right okay, now as cool. well. Um, because literally, because music's like picked up so much. Mm-hmm. I was thinking, right, I need some hobbies, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm um I've got a little period out of studio because I've literally just been in studio mm. till the start of this year. I was just, yeah, I don't, fam, I don't know, you know. <laughs> like, these glasses are me finding myself. All right, cool. I don't need these glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need them. <laughs> it's looking good anyways. You can't oh, them, thank mate. you, my bro. You're looking good, man. <laughs> Cheers, man. It's all going to be good on the cameras and whatnot. <laughs> no, that's cool. So if I'm coming to chill with you on the weekend, what's going down? Ah, uh, bro, um, I, I'm i boring, fam. I'm boring. You need someone else to tell me. I, um... You know what? I just drink. Okay. Now I turn up. I know how to turn up, but I don't turn up a lot nowadays. Because since I left uni, I was... Don't start, worry, I'm, I'm getting the same wear and tear. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Because I can't drink the same like I it's used to. It's not the same since you leave uni, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before, I'm proper struggling. I don't understand. Yeah, vodka, I used to run through that. Yeah. Now, now it's got <laughs> to be. I used to run through that. <laughs> <laughs> now it's wine. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I need them delicate ones. I'm with you still. Acquired taste. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need you to explain this to me, yeah? Mm. You go and put out a video like Super Soaker. Yeah. And now the whole tag is black men don't cheat (laughs) can you can you give me your explanation of why this statement's coming out please do you know what it's a feeling it's a feeling because you know like I feel like we've been under a lot of pressure a lot Mm -hmm. of attack being ostracised a lot and yeah man I just felt like we needed a movement like this yes, okay. to aspire towards. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what, the merch is coming out, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soon come. Soon come. Send Soon one my come. way. Yeah, yeah. Got, bro, got you, man. 100. <laughs> nice one. How has that statement affected your DMs? Huh? Do you know what? Yeah, I think it's so wild. People don't know how to respond. They're like, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I get it more from people around me saying, "Oh, you know, you've been putting my group chat." Yeah, you know, you've been. No putting, way. Yeah, 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 yeah. No way. And they then, must be slewing you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, "This is this is a bunch of nonsense." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good description to me. Talk to me. What was it like getting your first top forty? Um, we didn't expect it. Yeah. Like literally, for me, it's like this song. I was fun do you know what I mean yeah. it, it wasn't like a traditional uh, big chorus verse big chorus big chorus it was just something I wanted to start my channel with mm-hmm. so literally as soon as um, I heard it was getting to the charts I was just like that's that's crazy yeah because I was just ha- I would have been happy with like a million views on my channel in a month and just like that's what, what I was hoping for okay cool. so now it's just like I can't believe it's gone that far. Even yeah. with the black men don't cheat and everything, <laughs> I think it's just crazy because I, I think this is the epitome of just having fun. Having fun with what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, Defo comes across. And when I saw you put up the video preview in yeah. the studio or whatnot, I was thinking, yeah, I need to see when this song comes out straight away. You know the ones when you fish around like, oh, have you heard this new Hardy song? Have you heard the new Hardy song? It's like, yeah. nah, I, f- I thought it was going to do what it's doing, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, everyone, like, for me, I never get too, like, I never get too involved. I make songs that I like, and then if it responds well, that's a bonus, you know what mm. I mean? Because now it's like, I don't want to get caught up in the pressure of just trying to chase a hit or yeah. trying to chase something. I just want to make songs. Yeah, and you're that, having fun with yeah, it. Yeah, 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 that people enjoy. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, Even yeah. like, to talk about it, like, that's like that's why this is one of my favourite releases as well because okay. the whole black men don't cheat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who produced this one? Call Me The Kid. Oh, produce vice versa as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, he's doing straight bangers, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's, <laughs> he's been working still. He's been working. He's oh, a mad guy. Goodness gracious me. All right, cool. Moving forward to the future, yeah. What can we expect? What's your plans for 2018 first? Ah, uh, cool. I've been working, innit? Like, so um, I'm 
I'm running with this Hardy season campaign. I've always said it. I, I just like, I think it's got a ring to it, in it. But I've actually tried to bring it to life this time in the sense of I'm doing back to back releases and just not just releases, like to turn up to like releases where it's like, this is reflective or this is, this is a real like grease track. You yeah. Know? just so many different sides like because I wanted to capture a mood with this project if you know what I mean so every song is like I want you to know straight away how you should feel yeah rather than you listen to the song and it's like what did I like what What am I meant yeah Mm. what am I meant to get from that is it a club thing yeah so yeah like literally just me as a person yeah. I kind of packaged yeah. into various songs finding yourself glasses and that yeah. glasses and that see <laughs> glasses and that thank that's you that's cool so it's a project What? when can we expect it if there's an expected date Um, it's not a project in the sense of like an uh, EP okay. like, it's not like not like that it's just literally a lot of releases so the high volume of releases back to back so we got a release coming next week okay Cool, cool, cool. I'm looking yeah. forward to that one for sure. Because it's interesting, because when you look back at your back catalogue, you're actually very, very diverse yeah. in your music. I think that's what's exciting about what you're putting out next. Thank you. Know? you. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, I didn't want to lose that. Like, that allowed me to get into the position where mm. I can do singles that people can sing with as well. But I just like music as a whole. And it's like, if I only do one thing, I'm, I'm going to get bored personally. Yeah. So... Yeah, I just wanted to capture the essence of that and then apply it with what I've learned because I feel like I've learned a lot as a musician as well over the past year. Okay, yeah, cool. This past year more than any year, to be honest. 